In this video, what I want to do is highlight how in this exam you can be asked to do all of the things that we learnt beforehand with differentiation, so including uh, the first derivative, second derivative, stationary points, uh, tangent line, normal, um, determining whether it's a maximum or minimum, all of these questions can be tested, but now with functions that have both fractional or and or negative indices. And so, what we're going to do is going to find the x-coordinates of the stationary points of this function and determine their types. So the first thing you want to do is you want to write it as a sum of powers of x. So y is equal to 4 thirds x cubed, and now this 1 over 4x, I'm going to rewrite that as 1 quarter x to the minus 1. Because that's 1 over 4 times 1 over x. So that's 1 over 4 times x to the minus 1. Now I can differentiate it. I need to differentiate it in order to find the stationary points. So dy by dx, the 3 can come down at the front. 4 thirds times 3 is just 4. Take 1 off the power. And then the index here can come down at the front. So I'm going to have minus a quarter x. Take 1 off the power. So I've got to the minus 2. Now, that's our first derivative. I'm then asked to find the stationary points. So stationary points exist when dy by dx equals 0. And so I must put this equal to 0. And solve the equation. So I'm going to add a quarter x to the minus 2 to both sides to start off with. Okay, then I'm going to multiply both sides by x squared. What that's going to do is it's going to eliminate the x to the minus 2, because I'm going to have x to the minus 2 times x squared, the 2 and the minus 2 will cancel. And so I get 4x to the 4 is equal to a quarter. And then I can divide through by 4, so that x to the 4 is now 1 over 16. Okay. So x to the 4 is 1 over 16, and therefore x is equal to plus, or I should say plus or minus, 1 half. Because the fourth root of 1 over 16 is 1 half, but because it could be plus or minus, I must include both. And so these are the x coordinates of the stationary points. There are two, one at a half, and one at minus a half. I now need to determine their types, so I must find the second derivative, d2y by dx squared. I use the dy by dx that I already have, bring the 2 down to the front so I now have 8x, and then taking 1 off the power, the minus 2 can come down to the front, multiply with the minus a quarter, which would make plus positive 1 half and then take 1 off the power, so I've got 1 half x to the minus 3. Now I need to find out what type of stationary point I have. So I'm going to first of all substitute in x equals a half. So I've got 8 times a half plus 1 half times 1 half to the power of minus 3. Okay, so I plug that in, 8 times a half plus 1 half times 1 half to the power of minus 3, which is 8. Now 8 is positive, so x equals 1 half is a minimum, as the second derivative is positive. I then need to find the second derivative when x is minus a half, so 8 times minus a half, if I could write it, plus 1 half times minus a half to the power of minus 3. Okay, so I have uh, minus 4 plus a half times minus a half to the power of minus 3. 
which is minus 8. Now that's negative, so x equals minus a half is a maximum, because the second derivative is negative. So as you can see, the process and the notation is exactly the same as before. Okay, Nothing has changed, it's just that now you're having to deal with fractions and negative indices, which makes the problem more complicated by making it more fiddly. There's no more steps to the problem, it's just a case of can you follow through the algebra effectively enough, and then when you get down to the second derivative, use your calculator to substitute in.